Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go over my Azure standard order for the month of January and as we go through each item in this order what I bought what I plan to do with it we're going to look and see if Azure standard actually has the best price or not. So with my first Azure standard order last month I did this and I compared all the prices to Walmart and some of the items Azure had an amazing price and there were a few where Walmart could have beat Azure Standard out. So you just have to look at that Azure Standard. I do buy more things in bulk so I get larger sizes, but that's okay. I've went through and compared them as best as I could with Walmart, an item come from Tractor Supply as well. There were a few items that Azure Standard was the only place I could get this thing, which is really cool. I'm gonna share some of my reviews with some of these items if I would buy them again or not, and my must-have items in this order from Azure Standard that I will not go without, even if that's all I order from Azure Standard in the future, I will not go without these items if I can help it at all, because I love them. So we're going to get into this. Let's go over what I bought this month, what I'm going to do with it, and what the prices of each item are. At the end of the video, I will show you how much I paid for my Azure Standard order, including shipping, because I know some people are curious on shipping and how much you really pay for it. And then I will also compare that with a Walmart order of items that are similar to these and show you the difference. So the first item on our shopping list is organic garlic powder. Now I bought the Azure Standard brand of this. I have found Azure Standard brand to be the cheapest options when yours um, buying from Azure Standard. It has been great quality, so I'm going to stick with those in every place that I can. So the Azure Standard brand, I bought one pound of organic garlic powder. I love garlic powder. I love to keep it on hand so that I'm not always having to dice fresh garlic. If I just need to do a quick meal, I want some flavor to throw in there and garlic is my go-to. My mama taught me that you measure garlic with your heart, not with a spoon, so I go through a whole lot of garlic powder. Azure Standard for one pound, I paid $12.65, which seems like a lot. However, that is only 79 cents per ounce. Now, Walmart does sell an organic garlic powder in their great value brand, so that's what I went with there for price matching. I could get a two and a half ounce bottle for $4.36, which is $1.74 per ounce. That is almost $1 more per ounce to get the great value brand versus the Azure Market brand of organic garlic powder. The trade-off is the Azure Market brand comes in a big bag and the great value brand comes in little bitty glass bottles, which creates a whole lot of waste. Azure Market has less weight. However, it doesn't have the little shaker bottles to use. So you could buy a small bottle of the um, Great Value brand and use that little shaker bottle or you can do like I do and just put it into a quart size mason jar and use that. I just take a little bottle out, sprinkle it in my hand and pour that into my food. I've never gotten to the point where I thought I had too much garlic powder in my food. Maybe one day I'll make that mistake and want a shaker top but I know you can buy shaker tops to go on your mason jar lids. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, next on our list is organic onion powder along with garlic powder. I use organic onion powder literally daily in my cooking. I bought a one pound bag of that as well and it cost me $10.92 for the pound. That is 68 cents an ounce. Great Value does have an option for organic onion powder again in the little glass bottles um, and their price is $4.36 a bottle which is $1.74 an ounce. That one is like a dollar and five cents or something more per ounce than Azure Standard. So again, Azure Standard wins in price. Third on our list is organic paprika and this is smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. Oh, I have a thing for pepper spices, not like spicy peppers, but like bell peppers using them as spices or paprika using them as spices. I really want to grow my own paprika peppers one day. 
I tried this year, but everywhere I looked, they were already sold out. So this year is not the year, but one day, one day. Until then, I'm buying it from Azure Standard. So for one pound of smoked paprika organic, I paid $9.90 at Azure Standard. That is 62 cents an ounce. Holy good gracious. At Walmart for the organic smoked paprika, and there is a difference between smoked paprika and regular paprika. Uh, smoked is better. And at Walmart, you can buy the organic smoked paprika in a little glass bottle that is 1.6 ounces in that glass bottle. That's it, 1.6 ounces. Um, I'd go through that in like no time at all. And that little glass bottle will cost you $4.36, which is $2.73 an ounce. As your standard was 62 cents an ounce. $2 per ounce more. So per ounce. I'm paying an extra two dollars if I bought it from Walmart versus Azure Standard. That is just mind-blowing and I have used the Azure Standard spices already. The quality has been amazing. Love them. Okay so moving past our spices we are getting into oats. I did not buy the organic oats from Azure Standard. I could have um, but the regular rolled oats were cheaper and I got to cut costs some places. At Azure Standard, I bought five pounds of rolled oats and that cost me $4.99. So right at a dollar a pound. Yes, that was six cents per ounce for these rolled oats. At Walmart, I used the great value version because my Azure ones were not organic. So I'm not going to price them on organic ones at Walmart. So the great value version of rolled oats comes in a 42 ounce container which is like two and a half pounds and that would have cost me three dollars and 98 cents which is nine cents per ounce so that's three cents more per ounce especially when you're buying bulk prices that three cents per ounce does add up quite a bit now we're looking at carrots so i bought 25 pounds of organic carrots from azure standard now, I bought this with the intention of canning these carrots. If you have seen my goals for 2024 video, you will know that I have the goal of canning one thing per month throughout the entire year. And the way I'm going about achieving that is by buying something in bulk with each Azure order that I'm going to can. For this order, it was carrots. So I bought 25 pound bag of carrots from Azure Standard and I did can them up. So I got 14 quarts, uh, the wide mouth quart jars of carrots and I have an entire one gallon bag of chopped carrots in my freezer. If I want to um, throw something in my instant pot like a roast or something, I can just grab out handfuls of those and throw them in and I don't have to worry about peeling and chopping carrots and I'll have organic carrots in my soups and stews and things like that. So that actually worked out fantastic. Plus we used some for dinner that night while we were peeling and chopping them. So I would have ended up with a little more anyways, but it's just been a great thing for us. For this 25 pound bag of organic carrots, I paid $25.50. So just over a dollar a pound. And that come down, I did break it down to a per ounce because it was so close in prices and so I wanted y'all to see what this was. So per ounce, it was six cents an ounce. However, if we want to get into like drawing it out and you wanted to keep breaking it down, it was technically 0.064 cents an ounce. If you could split a penny in half, it was almost half of a penny. Walmart only sells their organic carrots in two pound bags. So I would have bought I would have had to bought 26 pounds to equal it up. So 13 <laughs> bags of carrots to equal what I bought from Azure Standard. And they're two pound bags. I found them for $1.96 for that two pound bag, which comes down to 98 cents a pound. So Azure Standard was just over a dollar a pound. Walmart is just under a dollar a pound. However, when you break it down in a per ounce price, because we're looking per ounce to see a really good comparison when you break it all down. Because if you look at this right now, you're like, oh, Walmart is the clear winner. But if you look at it per ounce, it comes out to be six cents an ounce. So technically they're both six cents an ounce. This is why I went ahead and broke it down into the 0 
four per ounce with as your standard because Walmart is 0 0.061 per ounce. So that's the difference. Like if you want to break your pennies and halves and quarters and all that, then technically Walmart wins as your standard did beat just as much over what Walmart costs. The trade-off is I have less waste with Azure Standard. The downside is with Walmart, if I went into the store and purchased each bag, I could have looked at the bags and seen the size of the carrots, the shape of the carrots, stuff like that. Um, the Azure carrots were on the bigger side. They were Some of them were like massive carrots, like holy good gracious. But surprisingly, they weren't woody. Like Declan was eating them raw as we were chopping them and stuff and had no problems eating them raw. Ones we cooked were still nice and tender and sweet. So they were big carrots. They were a variety that grows big without getting woody. So I was very surprised. I was worried when I seen the size of them because they were so massive. Technically Walmart wins in this instance though. It's okay. It's okay. As your standard loss by half a penny per ounce. It's all right. It's not something I'm gonna cry over. So the next item on my list, and this one is really gonna blow your mind, um, Azure Standard sells animal feed. Like what? They sell animal feed. We use oats in our animal feed. Our rabbits are not on like a commercial rabbit pellet. I forage for them, I grow for them, things like that. And I supplement their feed with things that I could grow but I don't have a ton of land to do, so I purchase, like oats. So Azure Standard sells whole oats with holes for organic animal feed, and they come in 30 pound bags for $16.94 for a 30 pound bag, which breaks down to 56 cents a pound. What? Mind blown. I generally normally buy our oats at Trader Supply. Now, I don't buy organic oats at Trader Supply. I don't even know that they sell organic oats in their animal feed at Trader Supply. I did get organic from Azure Standard. However, I went ahead and price compared with what we generally buy at Trader Supply because I want to know what's the better option for us. So at Trader Supply, I buy the Producers Pride Whole Oats. And that comes in a 50 pound bag and I pay $21.49 for this 50 pound bag. And that breaks down to 43 cents a pound. So technically Tractor Supply is cheaper by 13 cents a pound. Tractor Supply is not organic so it's just the, just the lowest of the whole oats you can get versus Azure Standards which is organic. So that's where you're going to have to weigh the price of an organic versus a non-organic and what that means for you. I'm going to go ahead and let you know we have fed our animals the non-organic version for a few years now. It's been all right. It's been all right. However, if I'm out or if I'm getting low and I'm placing an Azure order, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the organic version because it's 13 cents more a pound, not even an ounce, a pound. 13 cents more a pound. So that's not a big drastic difference that I'm going to sweat over because I know I'm getting better quality with Azure Standard and organic versus the cheapest I can get at Trader Supply. You see what I'm saying? But if I am all out of oats, my Azure market order isn't coming in anytime soon or for some reason I'm not ordering for that month, I'm still going to go to Trader Supply and pick up this Producer Pride oats and I'm not going to sweat it. I do the best that I can, but not everything's got to be organic. Not everything's got to be that top notch. It'll be all right. So in that price comparison, Trader Supply technically wins on price. If we're looking organic to organic, there was no comparison option available. So Azure Market would win. If, if you want an all organic option, Azure Market would be the clear winner there. Now, this next one is one that I let you know I will not do without in my kitchen anymore. I won't do it. Azure Market sells dehydrated bell peppers. They are dehydrated diced red bell peppers. So not the cheap green ones, the red ones that are more flavorful and that I prefer in my cooking. 
and they sell them dehydrated in a one pound bag and I am in love. Since I have bought these, I have added them to so many things. Pasta sauce, oh, throw a handful in, it goes great. Making beans, throw a handful in, it goes great. I'm telling you, it has been life changing. And I paid $12.36 for a one pound bag, which was 77 cents an ounce. I could not find a comparison for this anywhere. The closest I could get is in like the um, number 10 cans. If you're like looking at prepper dehydrated food options, the number 10 cans. There was one company who sold them, um, but it was like green and red diced peppers. You couldn't get just a red only option. And the green ones are the cheaper version because they don't have to stay on the plant as long. They're not getting ripe. And so there's a different flavor profile. So I just said no comparable item on this because that would change the flavor and I'm all I buying them for the flavor. So no comparable option. Technically, I will always keep these in my kitchen. So if I'm running low, you will see them again in my Azure Market order. I, I can promise you that one. Okay, so the next item on my list is organic pumpkin puree. Now, in our family, we love us some pumpkin pie. Like, love us some pumpkin pie. Me and Declan could eat pumpkin pie every day. So, when I seen these go on sale, I went ahead and added them to my cart. And I do that every year after Thanksgiving Christmas is over. Anytime I can find good quality pumpkin puree on sale... It goes in the cart, it goes on our shelf, and I will cook with it throughout the year. So Azure Standard had organic pumpkin puree in a three pack. So it came with three 29 ounce cans, which are the big cans. Um, and I paid $9.55 for that three pack, which come out to be $3.18 a can or 11 cents an ounce. Now three eighteen a can for a 29 ounce can, a big can, that's a great price. And when you add in on top of that, that it's organic, that is like phenomenal. Uh, absolutely blow my mind type price. So the Walmart did have an organic option for pumpkin puree. I could only purchase it online though. Our Walmart does not keep this in store. I don't know any Walmart that actually would keep this in store because it is ridiculous ridiculous. So the brand that I can buy online through Walmart is Farmer's Market Organic Pumpkin Puree. This does come in a three pack like the Azure Standard does except for these cans are 15 ounce cans. So they're the small cans um, where the Azure Standard was 29 ounce cans in their three pack. But wait, it gets even better because the Walmart price for this three pack of 15 ounce cans of organic pumpkin puree. Please sit down before I give you this amount. I about had a heart attack. $28.99 for a three pack of organic pumpkin puree in small size cans. That comes out to be $9.66 a can and I paid $9.55 for a three pack of 29 ounce cans from Azure Standard. The Walmart is 64 cents an ounce. Azure Standard was 11 cents an ounce. Holy goodness. Yeah, there's obviously a clear winner in this one, but who in their right mind would pay that much for pumpkin puree? I don't care if it's organic or not. No way. Uh uh. No. We just would not be eating pumpkin pie. Whoever's doing that, please don't. Please shop it as your standard. Okay, moving on. So the next thing we purchased was Sweet Leaf Natural Water Drops. Now, for those of y'all who've been around for a while may know, Declan cannot have red food coloring. Like, it makes him incredibly aggressive and hyper. There's, like, it's not normal excited boy stuff. Like, he is hitting himself in the head, banging his head on walls, floors, kicking, hitting, screaming within 30 minutes of having anything with red food coloring in it. Anything with red food coloring in it. It is absolutely unbelievable. So we don't do red food coloring in our house for good reason. 
we do a lot of water and flavored water so i'm always on the lookout for a new flavor that's a better option for us that doesn't have a ton of junk in it and that is dye free so azure standard has the sweet leaf natural water drops in strawberry kiwi which is one of declan's favorite flavors and they come in a little bitty 1.62 fluid ounce little container which is what most water flavorings come in you know they're kind of expensive but if you're looking at something more like a gatorade versus this the water drops are the cheaper option and they're better for you so for this little bitty thing at azure standard i paid four dollars and 61 cents which was two dollars and 85 cents an ounce i didn't like it <laughs> if you like the lacroix waters you would probably like it because it's like a hint of flavor just a smidge of flavor in your water just enough to know that mm, something's in there but i'm not quite sure what it is it is not a lot of flavor and if you're trying to get your child to drink this versus something sweeter like a apple juice or something to get water in them they ain't gonna do it and they ain't gonna like it because there's not a lot of flavor there even when you put way more than what it calls for in the water the flavor doesn't get much stronger so we will not be buying this again however i bought it so i price compared it and walmart online i can get the exact same brand in the exact same size so that made comparing this one a cinch walmart offers this for five dollars and 48 cents per little bottle azure standard was four dollars and 61 cents a bottle so azure standard is the clear winner in this one now the next item on our list <laughs> declan can review for you after i tell you what it is and we price compare it because i had to make him try these i bought them from him hoping he would like these but they're the azure market organic dehydrated bananas that are dipped in bittersweet chocolate Declan loves dehydrated bananas and he loves chocolate so this just screamed Declan to me it was $13.72 per a one pound bag or 86 cents per ounce I could not find a comparable item to this anywhere at Walmart I could buy the regular dehydrated bananas for close to this price of what I paid for the chocolate covered bananas but they didn't have chocolate covered dehydrated bananas it's just a specialty item and I bought it from Azure Standard because that's what they had it but let's see Declan's review of it I know the tea you do uh-huh no you said what does it smell like Smell like chocolate. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try a piece with you. Ready? Uh -huh. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Cheers. I'm done. Hmm. What? What do you think? Well, I don't like it. You don't like it? Mm-mm. So what don't you like about it? I just don't like it. Because it's not very sweet? Mm-mm. Now, Kenneth did like these, and he ate the whole bag in just a few days. So he really liked them, and he wants me to buy them again. Declan, not so much. And I think it was the bittersweet chocolate on it that he did not like. Next on our list is organic popping corn for popcorn, like yellow popping corn kernels. Declan loves popcorn. We don't have a microwave in our house. We pop our popcorn on the stove top. We were all out of popcorn. I bought some when I ordered my Azure Standard order. I got a 40 ounce package with Azure Standard and I paid $5.32 for organic non-GMO popcorn kernels. And that come out to be 13 cents per ounce. I, it don't take very much popcorn kernels to make popcorn for Declan. So this will last us a long while, like a year. If you're looking at doing something like this and having popcorn kernels for that long, you're buying it in bulk, freeze them first. Because if you don't, and we have learned this the hard way, popcorn kernels do have weevils in them, like flour and rice does. And over a long period of time, when that gets warm and stuff, those weevils are going to come out and your popcorn kernels are no good anymore. Walmart does have an organic yellow popcorn in a one pound bag. I, of course, would have to buy this online. And it was non-GMO, surprisingly, and it cost, would cost me $9.88 
for that one pound bag. And that was on sale, so yay for sales. That come out to be 62 cents per ounce. So way more than Azure Standard's organic version, um, which was 13 cents an ounce. And the last item on our list is uh, Redmond Earth Paste Toothpaste. I got the one that has silver in it and that is peppermint flavored. And Azure Standard, it was $7.02 for a four ounce container. On Walmart, I can order this online. Same brand, same size. And it was $12.07 for that four ounce container. So almost twice as much on walmart.com versus Azure Standard. So let's back up and count them. So toothpaste, Azure One. Popcorn, Azure One. Bittersweet chocolate dip bananas is a draw because there was no comparable item. On the organic pumpkin puree, Azure clearly won. On the Azure market, bell peppers that were red, diced, dehydrated is a draw. There's no comparable item. On the Azure market, organic whole oats with holes. Technically, Tractor Supply has the cheaper option, but for a Norgate non-organic option so i'm just gonna give that one a draw for the organic carrot walmart one so we're currently three to one for the azure oats rolled oats azure one for the organic paprika azure one for the organic onion powder azure one for the organic garlic powder azure one so azure standard is at seven where walmart is at one win and there were a few draws on the board i think we had three draws Azure clearly wins in the price comparison on most things. There was a small mix-up in our order. I did order a stainless steel pizza pan and it did not get delivered to us. It showed that it shipped. When we unloaded our shipment, it was not there. Our drop coordinator did send out an email to everybody who picked up items, you know, asking if they had it. Evidently, nobody did and I never got it. However, I use the Azure standard little chat feature on the website. Just put in there that my stainless steel pizza pan was never delivered. They went ahead and credited my account that same day for the amount of the pizza pan and I just ordered it with my next order. So that should come in next month. We'll see if it makes it this time. But it was like no big deal. All I did was had to say, hey, it never showed up. And they were like, okay, we got you. Here's your refund. I was like, okay, cool. That was the easiest like I have an issue I've ever dealt with. Totally appreciate that with Azure Standards customer service. Now, for the fun of it, and because I told y'all I would share with you how much all of this cost me at Azure Standard, the 30 pound bag of oats, I actually did purchase two of those, so I got a total of 60 pounds of oats there. And for Azure Standard, I paid a grand total of $175.05, sort of. Now, Azure Standard was running a promo code, which I shared in my very first Azure Standard video and told y'all to go and use that, and that saved me almost $21. So I only paid $154.23. I also received $3.23 of Azure Cash. So what that is, is when you purchase things on Azure Standard, some of them come with bonus cash and that means you get a portion of the price you pay in Azure cash that you can use towards future orders. It's only a little bit here and there. Some items do have like 10 times Azure cash on it if they're really wanting to move that thing which would be cool but I've never gotten one of those. But I mean it's just a little bit that helps you in the future so I don't technically count it as in getting price off of this order but if you see in the future that i've used azure cash that's what it is now for the items of my order it was a total of 161 dollars and 34 cents shipping for this order was 13 dollars and 71 cents which gave me the total of 175 dollars and five cents however with my promo code of saving 20 dollars and 82 cents for the promo that azure standard was running i only paid 154 dollars and 23 cents for this entire order at Walmart. I went through and added everything to cart that I could get at Walmart. So this does not include the diced red bell peppers that were dehydrated. It does not include the chocolate covered bananas and it does not include the 60 pounds of oats for animal feed that I got from Azure Standard. But I went ahead and added everything else just to see. Without those three items, I would have paid at Walmart $183.83. 
and some of that has to be delivered some of it i would have to go pick up where it as your standard i paid without my promo code i would have paid 175 dollars and five cents so cheaper on azure standard plus i got a 60 pounds of animal oats and the dehydrated diced red bell peppers and the chocolate covered bananas and i still come out cheaper on azure standard than walmart without those options yeah so as with our first video we have proven again that azure standard is a great place to buy items when you're comparing them to somewhere like walmart who i use just because just about everywhere has walmart and so i think you can price compare there pretty easily now there are some items on here like the carrots that if i am coupon shopping or looking at sales ads i very well could have possibly gotten those cheaper at somewhere like a food line or a kroger or something when i waited for them to go on sale and then stock up them which is what i do for the majority of our groceries which is why y'all don't see a ton of grocery hauls for me because i try to look at the sales flyers every single week and see what is a phenomenal deal and then i go and stock up on that item and that's where we are for this month's azure standard order thank you for joining me let me know if you have purchased from azure standard yet if not what are you waiting for i will put my affiliate link down in the description box below if you purchase from azure standard and you spend more than a hundred dollars there i get a affiliate commission so i don't make any money off of you it's not costing you any extra azure standard gives me a small portion of money i think it's like it's not much but i do get a small portion of money towards my next azure order so to help feed our family if you use my link to sign up and to order through so that's all that's for it don't cost you anything but it will help feed our family so if you want to use azure standard you're not using it yet check out that link please use it when you purchase it's not going to cost you anything but it will help us that's all i have for you today friends thank you for joining me i will see you next month with that azure standard order bye i will see you later